So today we're going to engrave a vector on the back of this mirror. Just remove the material so the vector can show through the front. And recently I posted a video where I've done a material test uh, to figure out what speed and power was needed for my laser uh, to do that. I just wanted to remove the material and not damage the glass. Now I did end up breaking that mirror. But I had enough information prior to that to know what speed and power was needed. I've got a 40 watt laser and it's a diode. So I needed 100 millimeters per second and 20% power. So welcome to the channel. I'm Dave and we'll get right to it. So the mirror is four and a half inches by four and a half inches. So we're going to start by making us a... Uh, area a tool so we know where that's at i'm going to take this lock off and resize it uh, that should be 114 i need it a little bit larger uh, because we're going to cut a template out of some cardboard and I, I want it to fit in there good so i'm going to go 114.5 millimeters and since i didn't drag it out square I didn't leave the lock on, but we got there anyway. Okay, I'll make this a tool for now, and then we'll come back and uh, set it to cut so we can cut that uh, template out. So I'm going to use a, um, a vector I got out of ChatGPT, uh, which is a, a really good tool for coming up with vectors. I got a couple of videos on it. Check them out if you like. I can drop some links down in the description. Uh, so we need this to be, I'm gonna put the lock back on. Remember when you're resizing a vector, uh, just put your lock on, resize either the height or the width, and then it'll change proportionately. So I'm gonna change the height to 77 millimeters. And that should be around three inches or so. And that should be centered, but we'll check it and make sure. Just hold down your Alt key when you're trying to center, and that'll get you there. So, we just want to uh, first ungroup this. I'm going to move the outer edge away. I'm going to grab everything else and put it on a fill layer. Uh, don't forget to move your engraving up to the top and get it away from your line or tool. And then we're going to do, let me get back on that alt key right there. So I want to put a line around it. And to do that, we need to do an offset. So I'll do an offset. I'm just doing an outer and one millimeter. But we can't just select it and put it on that layer because this will happen. So if you wanted to invert and remove everything except what we've specified, the eyes and mouth and these marks, uh, then you can do that and you'll be fine. I'm on Control Z back. But if you just want to line around it, you select... Now remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. You want to select one line, shift, and then select the other line, and then put it on your layer, and you'll just get a line around it. We can check that with the preview. And there we go. So, now we can... Uh, just group that together. So I'm going to change this tool back to a line. We're going to jump in the laser and cut this uh, template out of some cardboard. And then we'll set the glass in it, run this, and uh, see what we get. All right, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to cut this template out of some cardboard. I got plenty of it. It's uh, cheap and it works great. 
So just remember to turn off your output for the engraving and then set your tool line to cut. Cut this out and then you can put your mirror in and move on with your uh, graphic. All right, let's do it. Okay, so as long as you don't move anything while you're doing that, you should be okay. Perfect fit. And as long as the glass doesn't get too hot, these little leg things shouldn't melt, but, but we'll see. All right, so remember to switch your output turn it on for your engraving and off for the line and we'll hit that and don't stand too close to this and breathe this in because this puts out a a really nasty smell all right let's do it Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let me uh, clean the residue off and we'll get a better look at it. I'll be right back. Well, this did turn out pretty nice. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer them, or at least I'll try. Uh, I'll put a link to the material test down in the description and you can check that out if you like. I'd like to thank viewer at Highway 70 for recommending I put a graphic on a mirror. And if anyone else has any topic suggestions, just drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. So if this was helpful, please like and subscribe, uh, comment, share. It's all appreciated. It helps the channel grow and it keeps me in the shop where I like to be. And I'll keep right on sharing. So just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.